Hey everybody, it's Jonathan with Drone Academy again, and we are back with volume two of our DJI Flight Simulator review. In the first one, we took a look at the free flight modes, and I promised that we would come back and look at the entertainment modes. So that's what we are doing today. We are gonna look into the time trial and the ring race. So let's jump in. Three, two, one. So for the purpose of this video, we thought it would be fun to take some of our brand new students who had never flown before and put them on the simulator. Of course, most of them had experience playing video games before, which this looks remarkably like a standard racing video game. And so they thought they'd do pretty well. Now, we did find out that it's harder than it looks, especially if you have never flown before and don't understand the concepts of yaw versus roll. Even if you have, it proved to be a little bit difficult for even those who had a little bit of flight experience. But that being said, this is a fun little game and it's a great way to get some experience manipulating the controls in a more aggressive mode. Now, of course, for most of the flying that you're gonna be doing, you're not gonna do anything like this unless you're an FPV Three, racer. But two, it is a good way to fine tune those motor skills of being able to understand how multiple different controls work together to maneuver the aircraft into tighter spaces. So you can see there, there were quite a few crashes early on. We had to edit a few of them out. Otherwise this video would have been way too long. However, after about 30 to 45 minutes of working through this and practicing and backing out of the FPV view into the third person view, we did finally have one student who was able to make it through this run right here. Now this course itself isn't actually that difficult. In fact, if you look at it, it may look very similar to the roads that you saw on the island scenario of free flight. However, you will encounter a few slight elevation changes as well as some pretty tight turns. So it is a great first experience into this. Now, once you complete this level, you can unlock the next level. And then if you complete that, you unlock the third. Now for the demo version of this software, there are only currently three levels in the time trial section. Now they may add more to that once you go into the enterprise solution, but I wouldn't be surprised if they left it as is because while this can be a good tool for developing those fine motor skills and a little bit uh, more detailed control, it doesn't really fit into the enterprise tool idea. However, if your wife or girlfriend accuses you of just playing video games, you can remind them that this is a sophisticated training tool that you're using to enhance your career. See if they believe you. Now let's move out of the time trial into the tunnel run, which in theory isn't that different than what you saw with the time trial, but it is just a straight shot down this hallway instead of a bunch of winding turns. However, instead of the large gates you had in the time trials, now you have these tight little rings you have to get through. And so it makes it a little more complicated and you start to notice how overcorrecting can really throw your aircraft off. We threw our students through this and of course this was after about 30 minutes of playing the time trial before they moved into this one. And you can see that there's still quite a bit of trouble. Now, one thing that would have helped them out most likely here that wasn't available when we were filming this section was the ability to adjust the expo and gain on your controllers. Now, what this does, it allows you to manipulate the sensitivity of the control sticks themselves so that you don't have to worry about overcorrecting as much as you might have in the base platform. And like I said, that capability didn't exist when we were filming this, but it has been recently added to the advanced settings of the system based on the last software update. So that's pretty exciting. And we'll take a look at that here at the end of the video. But like I said, even with the full sensitivity on the aircraft, they did start to get the hang of it after a while. Well, almost. And I gotta be honest, I watched them do this for a while and there were a lot of crashes. And frankly, I thought about making a video just of them crashing, but I realized that it would have been so long that nobody would have watched it, but it would have been hilarious. So if you do want to see us do a video of just people crashing in the DJI flight simulator, let us know in the comments below and we will for sure do that because we have more than enough of those documented right now. It's pretty insane. But after a while, after a while, they did get it. They did eventually get it. You move into the first person view 
it gives you a little bit less time to to make maneuvers but like i said it gives you a little bit more realistic activity and as you move down this hallway you start running into multiple ring sections now oh man yeah that's a good one. Oh, oh, oh no okay anyways so as you start moving down seriously guys can we can we not get through to the end of here like really seriously and we're never gonna make it never gonna make it all right you know what let's try this one more time Okay, and like I said, as you get towards the end, you start seeing things that add additional time, and you get to open up a gate that takes you to just more of the same. So you literally just keep flying down that tunnel. That's it. That's the tunnel run. If there's an end to it, I couldn't find it. So that is the entertainment mode. You have the tunnel run and the time trials, which are both just basically video games for you to play around with. Now, I did want to touch on this, like I said before, the expo, the gain, the sensitivity, these things are all now adjustable in the advanced settings as of the last software update, which I think is a great addition, frankly, as somebody who adjusts these on every aircraft I fly, I think this is going to take it a step further to give you a little more realism in the simulator. So that's it, the entertainment mode. What do you think? Is this something worth playing around with? Have you found the end of the ring run? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you are interested in seeing more about the DJI Flight Simulator, check out our video review of the free flight modes that show you all sorts of cool stuff that's available with the system. So if this has been even remotely, mildly entertaining, please like and subscribe. And if there's anything else you'd like to see with the Flight Simulator system itself or anything else drone related, please let us know because we always want to hear from you. So until next time, have fun and fly safe.